Okay. What's up everybody? It's Ansel and I'm back with another video. We'll be doing something a little bit weird. A long time ago, maybe like two, three years ago, I built my first custom keyboard. Or no, I didn't build it, but I bought it pre-built. Someone else built it. And it was, I believe, a DZ60. I had Cherry MX Browns, um, it had Zeal Stabs, and it was in a KBD Fans 5 Degrees case, which I replaced with an acrylic case uh, because I wanted to make use of the underglow RGB. I ended up giving it to a friend at some point when I wanted to upgrade and get a new board. Guess what I have today? <laughs> It's that first pre-built. Now, a friend of mine has caught wind of me, or he, like, he's a very good friend of mine, and he knows about my whole mechanical keyboard thing, and he's like, yo, let me get my board upgraded. And I was like, yeah, sure, for sure. So I agreed, and we'll be taking a look at this. First off, it's a grimy boy. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I remember when I first got it, I was like, oh my god, this thing is so cool. Especially in the aluminum case. And even better when it was, you know, RGBified. It's not as good as I remember. Let's go ahead and do a quick sound test so you can get a feel for how it sounds. And I'll tell you what we're going to do about it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, and that, ladies and gentlemen, was my first custom. Dear God, it's not. It's, it's not good. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do about the board. I'm going to desolder the switches, um, and then I'm gonna replace them. So the switches that we'll be replacing them with are these. These are KTT Roses and Akko CS Matcha Greens. I've also replaced the springs in the matchas with 50 gram TX springs. And I did that because he wanted it to be light because he's a gamer. And yes, I know the matcha greens already have fairly light springs, but they are progressive and they're not quite as light as just some regular springs. And you might not like that. I don't care. It's his board. And honestly, I know it's going to feel good. So it doesn't matter. So we're going to do that. We're going to clean up these keycaps. He bought some of his own, but they're not in yet. And then we're going to do some stab tuning. I don't know if we're going to do anything else. I don't think I'm going to put film in it. It's already acrylic, so it should sound fine. Let's see how this turns out. I'm going to go ahead and work on this right now. So, uh, transition. Does that work out? Probably not. So yeah, I'm not even going to bother turning that into a proper transition. Um, just a bit too lazy. But yeah, soldering, desoldering. Not as bad as people think, but desoldering is still a pain. If you're gonna do it, I do strongly recommend looking into uh, getting a nice desoldering pump, like the Engineer SSJ02, I believe it's called. Um, but even with that, it's still a pain, and I just don't want to pump the money into a desoldering gun. Like, I just can't. But yeah, I don't know what else to say. Let's move on. All right, so my buddy just came through and he brought through the keycaps. They came in the mail through Amazon and he's really been hyping them up. He tells me that they're like a banger. So I'll be seeing them for the first time. The box is, it's, it's kind of sketch. He knows what they look like because he opened it, but. So this is the box. Uh, let's see what he went with. It says sushi keycaps, okay. These are clones. <laughs> I just want to say first and foremost, I do not support <laughs> the buying of clones. Um, they look good. And actually, okay, hold on. I used to own clones when I first entered the hobby, but there came a time where I stopped buying them just because I wanted to support the designers. These are way nicer than what clones used to be. These are like scary nice. That being said, it doesn't make it right. 
<laughs> I didn't know that he was gonna get clones. I was I was low key. Okay, I was low key afraid he would get clones, or like even worse, he would get HK Gaming. This isn't as bad as getting HK Gaming, to be honest. But they're still clones, so. I will be putting these on the board. Like, originally, I was gonna put GMK caps on there. I mean, the package came through, so I guess I was gonna do it. I just, uh... I didn't know I was gonna get clones. <laughs> but... <laughs> that's okay. Beginners don't know, right? Um, and I don't honestly don't blame people necessarily for buying clones, but I think, personally, if you can spare the cash, it is best to support the designer. I won't judge people for buying clones. I personally will not advocate for that either though. But uh, I guess that's what we got to work with. So yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's put them on, I guess. Okay, so we're back. I've been using the board for like a few hours now and I'm going to be giving it back soon. Now, what are my thoughts on this board, the rebuild, maybe the keycaps and how I did? Um, I didn't do too bad, I don't think. Um, even though it's not as good as I thought it would be, it is leagues ahead of <laughs> what it was when he gave it to me. Honestly, I can't believe that I used to think that was a good board back in the day, so give the beginner some slack. It's... <sighs> there's a lot to learn in this hobby and I've come a long way, even though this is build might not prove it, but... But I mean, it just... Stabilizers were rattly. It sounded bad. Keycaps were freaking laser etched. Oh my god. <sighs> But that's how it is to be new in the hobby. You don't really know good from bad. You just know, eh, it works, right? But anyways, it could have turned out better. There's a bit of a slight rattle sound to some of the switches. I don't know what that is, but they feel perfectly fine. And it's barely noticeable, that rattle sound in usual use. The stabilizers are okay. Base bar though, I could have done a better job, but I don't know what it is. I think a big part of it is the keycap because I put on a GMK keycap on there. And even though there was still a little bit of rattle, it wasn't nearly as bad, so. Maybe there's some warping on the space bar, not too sure. But even if I wholly modded it, while I do know it would have been better, I don't think the problem would have been completely alleviated. I really do think it's a PPT spacebar type thing uh, and it being a cheap spacebar, but that is what it is. Finally, the switches feel good. They're smooth as heck. The KTT roses aren't as smooth as the Echo CS's, which is funny because they're cheaper, but they're all good. I love it. The sound is a bit tinny, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I don't really like it. I don't mind the pitch, it's just they don't feel very full. Not sure. They sound okay. I mean, it's a lot better than where we started. Maybe next time I encounter this, maybe I'll switch out the case? I don't know. I feel like the case plays a role into how it sounds so kind of thin. I mean, if you like that, that's fine. But I feel like a tofu acrylic case would have been just far better than this. Finally, the clones, you already know my opinion on that, is what it is. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I know this was kind of a bit of a rushed video, but I mean, the opportunity was there. And this was the first custom I ever owned and I just gave it a glow up and I didn't do too bad. It's just those zeal stabs, man. Don't know what it is, uh, but yeah, like comment, subscribe, or do whatever you want to do. I don't care. But yeah, see you guys next time. Peace.